What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to become the very best Pokemon Master at Pokemon Go. So I'm gonna show you the best to date Pokemon Go hack. I'm gonna call it a mega hack, just because of how many awesome features it introduces to Pokemon Go. So unfortunately, you do need a jailbreak for this. The good news is a jailbreak just came out today, making this so easy. I mean, guys, if you haven't jailbroken and you want to, just go ahead and check that link out right there and down below will be the link to the jailbreak. So you do need a jailbreak to uh, run this Pokemon Go hack. However, a jailbreak is not 100% required as there will be a way to sideload this in just a few days. And I will post a tutorial once that's available. In any case, there are more features using this hack. So that's why I use the mega term just because of how much there is. I'm gonna walk you guys through some of those features, show you what's new, and then of course, how to go ahead and install this hack on your device. No computer required, but again, a jailbreak is required and I'll link it down below as well. So first off, I just wanna show you guys, I am on iOS 9.3.3 three with a newly jailbroken iPhone 6s. I'm really, really happy uh, to make this video. So Pokey Radar, this app actually became very, very big on the App Store. It shows you the location of Pokemon near and around you. So basically, this tweak has implemented this entire thing into the app. However, it's not just the skin of this. It's actually its own native version built into the tweak itself. So it's really, really awesome. The fact that it'll notify you when there are Pokemon nearby and check that out. So just as a little proof of concept, it basically shows you which Pokemons appeared right next to you. So let me jump back here. There were some available. So I'm gonna click on this guy. And once you do click on it, it'll basically take you to that Pokemon. So it's an auto find. Instead of you having to walk around in circles, uh, eventually trying to find it, you can know immediately where it is. And the awesome thing is in the map, it'll give you detailed locations of these Pokemon and you can actually walk to their locations. How cool is that? So basically PokeGo radar built into the map. So that's awesome. There's also a new feature when it comes to uh, basically less detectable locations spoofing so say you want to go really really far out um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say I want to go all the way down here and you can go ahead and walk there automatically so you'll be taken there and you can of course set the speed which I will do to four times right here of course you can tap to walk the usual and all that you can patrol but there it is that feature that just basically tells you which Pokemon are nearby and the map feature is especially useful here. And there's one more really useful feature, basically walk home. So if you guys do travel pretty far out and eventually spawn back to where you are, that's a little suspicious. You can get soft banned for about four hours for that. So uh, using this right here, you can go ahead and walk back to your current location and it's not so suspicious. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stop here. And I'm gonna go to the Rattata find out where that guy is at. So click on it and he's gonna go right to it and you should find it just right there. Really, really cool. Not only that, but this tweak actually has a built-in helper for throwing Pokeballs. And actually, I'm gonna jump into the settings real quick just to show you that there is a new option to have an enhanced throw. So it'll help you out with your throw. It won't guarantee 100% of the time. Uh, there was a setting, but it was removed as it was causing some login issues, but it will help you actually catch it in a greater amount of time. So, I mean, it's much easier to use. Basically, more throws will well, actually land and catch that Pokemon. So, good stuff. What else? So, that's pretty much it, I believe, for this release. There's a new interface, a new joystick, which is kind of cool. But other than that, this basically makes it easier for you to not get banned and find Pokemon on your radar. Awesome stuff. Anyways, how do you install it? So, if you're jailbroken, it is so simple, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. If you're not jailbroken, you wait until uh, the side load method is up, and I will show you guys how to do that. And you guys wanna go ahead and jump into sources, edit, add, and you're gonna wanna add this source right here, beta.unlimapps.com, and this is basically going to install the source for Pokey Go. So uh, right here, we're gonna jump into this source, all packages and you can scroll down to where it says Pokey++ for Pokemon Go. So yeah, Pokey++, go ahead and install this. Now upon installing it, uh, the latest version for some reason, the map tracking doesn't work. So you wanna install it and then go to modify and select downgrade and you wanna select the .80 version. That's the one that works for me. 
uh, the 81 doesn't work, but I'm sure it'll be fixed very soon. You guys won't even need to do that in the future. So once that's installed, you guys can go ahead and log in and begin enjoying this tweak. Now, a little warning guys, this does ruin a majority of the game. You know, the whole fun factor of being outside, meeting people, all that. But hey, there are some good uses for it. It's arguable, you know, I did mention this already, but some people have broken legs, just cannot move and they want to enjoy from home. Maybe you don't have cellular data. Maybe you just don't want to meet people. You don't want to go outside at 2 a.m. And if you live in like some shady place, who knows?